Greetings, welcome to the tutorials and uh, tips for constructing the Rocky Horror Laser produced by Dead Spatula Creations. Um, the first thing I want to do is go over some things you'll want to have and piece and what pieces you'll have in your bag. Net in well box. Um, please watch all the videos before you go through and construct it. Um, that make that way you pick up all everything, all the knowledge, and you're familiar with the entire process before you put it together. Now, as for equipment, you will want some clamps. Now, normally I have some higher duty. Uh, uh, clamps from the hardware store. They're kind of expensive um, You also can get these kind of things from Harbor Freight or similar uh, suppliers uh, For cheap and they work really and they actually work uh, pretty well um, I use them for uh, a lot of projects especially early on before I uh, was able to get my own clamps um, You can sometimes use rubber bands. Uh, they're a little unwieldy um, on a lot of the pieces, I don't highly recommend them. Um, but if you don't have clamps, uh, rubber bands will certainly work as well. Um, additionally, uh, those clamps are really only required if you're going to use a, long, a glue with a long set time. The glue I recommend, E6000, uh, takes about 24 hours to fully cure. You can't just press it together and leave it. Uh, so don't use, so if you're going to use E6000, as I recommend, you'll need clamps. But you can use a wide variety of craft glues. Uh, Gorilla Glue is pretty good um, and works well. Um, I haven't used... I've also used Cubond, which is a super glue you can get on Amazon. It comes with some build-up powders that I've never been able to get to properly work. But I've been able to get the, uh, the Cubond super glue. It adheres fast, and it, adhe it, adheres, in, it adheres strongly. Um, it works really well, especially if you don't want to need to clamp anything. Um, it might not last as long. Um, I haven't done any long-term how, how long will this last studies, but I do have enough surface area that even a, that even a super glue can hold everything together as long, um, as long as you're careful with it. Um, one of the reasons I use the E6000 is because of its strength and flexibility. It gives some impact resistance. I also highly recommend a metal file. If you don't have one, uh, there's nothing being done in here that requires one. It'll just allow you to get a better finish and speed up a couple of the uh, touch up, some of the touch up work. Um, and you'll get a better finish on your seams uh, if you have a metal file. Uh, they come in many types. Additionally, you'll need some sandpaper. Uh, this is well used. 100 grit sandpaper is the only type I've, ever, I've used for this project. It's really used to just make sure you have that smooth, contiguous edge. Um, buff out any rough spots. Um, now, the pieces included in your uh, kit. The first thing to note is the body pieces. One last thing, um, I forgot to mention this. If you are building this at home, it is critical that you have, uh, sorry, if you're printing this at home, it is critical that you have an X-Acto knife. Um, I'm gonna try to eliminate the need for the X-Acto knife before I send it out for you. Um, and you'll see, I'll, I'll see, you'll see, and I'll tell you where that uh, moment is. But uh, I do recommend everyone have the Exacto, um, or another thin, tiny blade 
uh, you're going to need it for one step in the construction. So the first pieces you have are the body. Um, it is a uh, it is one piece handle. Uh, your targeting device and the base uh, frame of the device. Uh, like all pieces, it has five. It has a number, in this case five, of holes. These are for pins to go into that will align th this piece with this piece. Otherwise, it's a really complicated process and you'll likely not get it perfectly uh, symmetrical. Um, now, if, uh, if you're buying this from me, um, you shouldn't have this problem, but if you're printing at home, um, I'm finding some setting, uh, I'm not sure what the setting is, but I'm finding a case where you actually get a, a burr along this. Um, it, it creates kind of a flat top on top of the cylinder. Um, it's a little, it, it, it's not great. And as you can see here, I've marred the surface getting, I filed it down with my metal file and then hit it with some uh, sandpaper to uh, smooth it out. It's, this is, uh, um, I am doing this for you. If you're buying it from me, you will you won't uh, you will see the discoloration uh, because of the, the the filing. Don't worry, we're gonna be painting this, and that's gonna go away. So let us move on to the curves. Curved pieces uh, are, as you can see, curved and uh, they are to support the two outside tines. Um, like the body, they have the holes for alignment, for some alignment pins. Um, they're also labeled. You can see these are both labeled one. One, uh, one of them has a T, one of them has a B. Uh, the one pieces go together and the B will be used to, the B side will attach to the base of your gun, and the T side will attach to the tine. Um, now you have four of these curved pieces. The other two are labeled two. So uh, don't get them confused. You can't really put a one and a two together and it look right, um, but I mark them just so you uh, absolutely know which piece goes with which. Now the next piece is the tine. Um, as uh, all pieces of this gun, it comes in two halves. Um, one of your tines is labeled with an L. One of your tines is labeled with an S. Um, that stands for short and long. You have three longs, three shorts. Uh, a single tine is one short piece and one long piece. Uh, as before, with the base, with the base, um, it's notable. This is your attachment point here. Uh, this provides a large, stable surface for the glue to adhere to. So you want to make sure. Um, Earlier, uh, earlier versions were uh, flat and just included a small cross section for for here ad attachment. It didn't go too well, so we designed uh, a a large surface area for the glue to adhere to, and that should help you out. Now, I've mentioned and shown that there are pins in all these things, and I've called them alignment pins. Um, they're designed to, uh, make it really easy to put these together and get these to align properly on all edges. Uh, I found that the halves were really hard to put together, and so I, uh, built the alignment pins to fix it. A little pin looks like this. 
a little tiny piece. It's actually a square rectangle. It's a it's a you know rectangular cube with the corners cut off uh, to make it easier to put them in. Um, the short stubby. Uh, we need 18 for this to to fill all the holes. I have provided. Um, I am currently providing 24 pins um, to, in each kit. That way, if you lose one, you know you're okay. Uh, they are they are tiny, so you want to have a, uh, a you know a few spares. <clears throat> Those are all the pieces. Uh, those are all the. Uh, things you'll need to put this together uh, my next video sh will include will uh, list how to put the halves together um, and some tips in the construction stage um, <clears throat> see you then